Well, hello again, home learners. We're finally there. We're up to chapter five of The Legend of Spud Murphy. You might remember in the last chapter, the boys said, do you think that Spud, uh, Mrs. Murphy would let us bring them home? I said, mum picked up the bags. Of course, you have your cards, don't you? Chapter five is called Off the Carpet. I'll show you the contents page again. Oh, look, here's our author, Owen Colfer. Looks a little bit like Mr. Bean. What a happy guy. So we had chapter one, Ugly Frank. Chapter two, Stay Off, Stay On the Carpet. Chapter three, The Test. Chapter four, A Good Book. And chapter five, Off the Carpet which is on page 55. How about that? Chapter five, page 55. For weeks, everything was wonderful. We had the time of our lives. Every new book opened the door to a new world. We floated down the great Mississippi River with Huckleberry Finn. Robin Hood taught us how to shoot a bow and arrow. We caught burglars with the famous five and Stig the Dump gave us, fort, gave us fort building tips. Spud Murphy generally left us alone so long as we returned our books on time and didn't make any noise on the carpet. A few times she had to show us the shh flashcard, but we never got up into any real mischief until one Monday we ran out of books to read. We had everything, we had read everything twice, even the Nancy Drew series. We sat on the carpet dreading the boredom that would come, to, that would soon set in. It wasn't fair. Marty was so bored that he started licking his forearm again, even though the Barbie stamp was long gone. He stopped licking to complain. What are we going to do? He moaned. I can't sit here for hours a week with no books. Me neither. It's such a tragedy. Yuki agrees. The adventure section is right over there. The I'm going to pause the video and go and deal with this cat. Hang on a second. Coco is looking at me like, why did you ever bring her home? I'll be back in a moment, guys. So it turns out there was a baby possum. Daylight, I know. Outside, up the tree. Just coming to check things out. That's what Yuki was meowing at just before. So I'm just giving her a snack inside to take her mind off things and hopefully leave us alone for a while. I've never seen a possum in the daylight. I wonder if it hurts their eyes since they're nocturnal. Now, where were we up to? It's such a tragedy. The adventure section is right over there. The adult adventure section. We only have pink cards, remember? Hmm. I know that if just one of us had the guts to go over there, one book is all we need to get us through the afternoon. I covered my head with a book. No way. Don't even ask. I'm not listening. Marty crawled over to me. Oh, come on. I can't go. Spud's got her eye on me. But what about the spud gun? Marty pinched my cheek. You're the cute one. If Spud catches you, she'll probably give you a lolly. No, Marty, no, I whispered in case Spud heard. I'll uh, let you breathe the air in my bedroom, said Marty. No, I'll let you hang around with me and the boys. I don't want to hang around with you. I'll tell you where your action man is buried. I gasped. <gasps> action man is buried? Marty knew that he had me. 
Yep, somewhere in the garden. The big garden too. I'd say worms are starting to nibble on him by now. What choice did I have? Action Man needed me and I did really want something to read. Okay, Marty, I'll go, but only today. If you want a book on Wednesday, you'll have to get it yourself, I hissed. Marty patted me on the shoulder. That's fair, he said. Now, off you go. I want something really exciting. I put one foot off the carpet and onto the wooden floor. My goodness, I'm getting nervous. It creaked like a bat squealing. In seconds, Spud skated around the corner with her slippers gliding over the polished planks. Shh, said her card. Sorry, I whispered. Spud's beetle eyes squinted up, squinted at us suspiciously, but she continued onto the romance section. I knew you couldn't do it, chicken boy said Marty. Not even when Action Man's counting on you. I stuck my tongue out at Marty. <laughs> it's Bud gliding across the floor in those slippers. No wonder the floor is so shiny at the library. I stuck my tongue out at Marty. I wasn't beaten yet. Not with Action Man buried in the garden. I would show Marty that I was no chicken boy. I stripped off my shoes and socks and tried again. With utmost care, I lowered my big toe onto the boards like a mouse testing a mouse trap. No creak, just beautiful silence. This could work. There were no adults in this end of the library. So, I only had Spud to worry about. I took one little step, then one more. I'm actually going to do chapter five in two sections, everybody, so it's not such a big video to upload and I can get it up sooner. So, I look forward to seeing you for the rest of chapter five very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.